Buzz Baby work together across the stages through five themes to develop our skills for learning life and work. We love this way of learning as we learn different skills that we'll use later on in life. We get to experience firsthand the skills you need to learn for different careers and professions. There are too many fantastic opportunities here at Buzzway to show you them all. So here's a quick look at how one of them works. Food technology. Put your knife in. Okay, you just gently saw it back and forward. Okay, and there, you've got your two parts of your sandwich. Boys and girls, this is Chef Alistair. He is coming in this morning to help us progress our cooking skills. It gives him an incentive to promote his trade because the kitchen is probably the main engine room of the business and Alistair loves to share his knowledge of what he does and how he does it and how, how much he loves it. And, but it's also a job where you're always training, you're always learning new skills. I've been a chef for 13 years. What's in it for the white car is we like to get the younger ones involved. It just gives them an idea what running a restaurant and working in a kitchen is all about. And we like to invest in that, promoting the business, being part of the community. Uh, if you're not part of the community, you haven't got a business. The kids get to know you on a one-to-one -one basis. They want to come into your restaurant to eat. So that brings the parents with, and that's how we are. It's really changed my teaching for looking at the skills I want the children to learn for life and for work. So now we're really looking for the children to be able to cook independently and to cook a whole variety of healthy dishes that they enjoy and that they can cook at home. We're making rice, chicken, tomatoes, coriander, pepper and we're just right now making our own sauce to give it flavour. Seeing the children really enjoying their cooking talking about the dishes, coming in and telling me that they've cooked this dish at home or they've cooked it for their family. Even hearing the parents seeing their child cook for them at home and having the parents in today, which we do at the end of each block, our parents are invited in to cook along with the children, is just one example of seeing how the children enjoy it and how they're taking that real life skill home and talking with their parents and cooking along with their parents really makes it worthwhile for me. He's now done it himself, which is absolutely fantastic, from scratch. And oh. knowing the menu and, and the food hygiene stuff is absolutely fantastic, isn't and it? And do you help then choose the ingredients for like, family dinners? Do, do you go to the supermarket and say to mum? Sometimes. It's also nice to hear from their parents how much cooking in the class and with other their other peers has brought them on. And they feel that they're confident and they come home talking more about what they're doing at school. A lot of the dishes are really, really tasty that we've made them a few times. But it's made them far, far more involved in the whole process, I think, yeah, which is great. And that's a, a good thing for me. Absolutely. <laughs> Sit back. Cooking started in Busby Primary with basic chopping boards and knives and the children were learning their cooking strategies within a classroom and really basic utensils. Um, this then led for me to apply for a cooking grant from Education Scotland. So with this money we bought the cooking trolleys that the children now currently use and all the utensils that have really been able to build their cooking skills. So now in Busby we um, cook with the trolleys and we're able to cook a range of dishes from fajitas to quesadillas to rice dishes, noodle dishes, stir fries. With numeracy and maths they are measuring and weighing ingredients. Um, our primary fives come in and they will use the scales to measure. Um, the more confident they get, they are then getting better at estimating their measurements. So if they're weighing out flour, they tend to use a spoon and they can have a good estimate. So it really improves their numeracy and math skills as well. This year then, we have involved the college. So the college are now coming in to cook with our primary sevens and the primary sevens then go out to the college um, and are able to cook there. But not just the cooking, it was the journey, having to be at the station half an hour earlier than school time, getting there on time. If you missed the train, you didn't get to join the class. They go on the train and they come into town. They're so excited and, you know, they just thoroughly enjoy the whole experience. This is an outstanding opportunity for the students to be included in college life, become part of college culture and to be training at a specific level. 
the pupils themselves are registered at the college, they become students at the college and they're made to feel like students when they come to the college. They move around the college as if they are students visiting our live restaurant environments and taking part in our industrial level kitchen learning and teaching environments. The very first time the pupils came in I actually felt quite daunted by the, the prospect of speaking with primary pupils. I actually I didn't have to worry at all because they were very enthusiastic, worked very hard, worked very efficiently and go on with it and they seem to thoroughly enjoy it. East Renfrewshire Council were highly supportive of it because they clearly saw the benefits to such a programme and how it linked to the Wood Report. This is a pioneering programme that no other college school partnership exists in Scotland. So it was highly creative of East Renfrewshire Council to become involved in this and it's clearly shown benefits. These students are more, more confident, more skill aware and they have indications of where they can go in life, whether it's to college or whether it's to the work environment itself. I think you take pride in seeing how these pupils, students have developed. Look at their confidence, look at their skill set, look at their presentation, look at their teamwork, look at their problem solving, look at how they are interacting with each other. And these are core skills that we are requiring in life for them to have. And they have been developed at primary seven. This is the type of innovation that we require head teachers to have because without it, these students wouldn't be where they are today.